What is up, everybody? We are back for our third episode of The Normies Decide, Sub versus Dub, Attack on Titan, and here we are with Levi Ackerman, baby. Yes. I'm so excited. This is going to be a spicy one. Who Who's on the couch this time? What up? This is Mickey, the most unbiased in the room, Ackerman. This is Pat. <laughs> Mickey is the most biased in the room in this Ackerman. Um, this is Navi. I will try to be unbiased. I believe I am. This is Chris Dubstep Johnson. Wop, 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 the dub all day. He's not unbiased at all. All right, we'll see. Right, we'll I'm see. supposed to. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're I fine. will try my hardest to be unbiased. No, no, no. You have to be truthful. I, well, here's the truth. If there's really cool stuff on the fucking scene and there's a bunch of words to read, then. I'm not gonna want to read those words. But those, I don't want to look at the cool stuff. But right. that image might not mean anything. And if that the is volume, a fair if criticism. If voice Chris. Is not good. A picture's worth a thousand words. As usual, guys, we, we have a what should be an unbiased couch, but just in case, we have two with more of an affinity towards the sub, two with more of an affinity towards the dub. Chris is taking Runna's place here. We will only have Navi to thirst for young Ackerman here. Hey, yes. I, what? You guys can also. I like Levi. Levi is gorgeous. Yeah, Levi's one. He's a short king. I like how clean he's the, he's he the is. kingest of short kings. I like how Levi. You he's, know, he, he's he's just a true one. He's so hot. So, guys, if you're <laughs> first time here, we're obviously not deciding for the internet. I have to preface this. I have to preface it because there are some comments that uh, complain about it. But we're just talking about our opinion. We're not saying <laughs> any actor is better yeah. than the other actor. Yeah. This yeah. is just a fun thing for us to do. We're not throwing up a poll because that's the whole point of this video. It's a discussion amongst the normies. They, they didn't hire us and make us authority to make the call. I feel like I disagree with that completely. Whatever we say goes. Okay. If okay. we decide right. here. I'm 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 yeah, that's sides. it. We're, we're, we're firing voice actors for the sides. final episode of Attack on Titan. It's going to be the voice actors we want. Yes. Half we English, have the half Japanese. <laughs> this, is, this is going to be the official world opinion. Here are the rules. These are just guidelines. You can obviously say whatever you want, but prefer to like follow somewhat these guidelines. We're looking at the uh, acronym DEEP, okay? Mm -hmm. So D for dialogue, mainly based on the script, uh, what they're saying, what the difference in it, what they're actually saying is the verbiage. E is energy and emotion, refers to the volume, pitch, and cadence. P is personality, this is the most subjective one. Whatever you think, which personality fits better for how you think Levi should be at the time, or just Levi as a character. Yes, Chris. How old were you when you were bitten by a camp counselor? <laughs> I was bit by a radioactive a radio camp counselor. <laughs> And that is why I have heavy camp counselor energy. Deep. I read it. I was like, that's only depth. But I was like, oh, there's two E's there. That is <laughs> this is great. Levi Ackerman, baby, in the yeah. dub. He is played by Matt yeah. Mercer. He looks what up? Levi. Critical role. Matt Mercer is the goat. He's um, got a jaw. He, he is goated. He yeah, does his have jaw. A, quite a very jaw. Good. Yeah. And he's a hell of a DM. So Matt Mercer, he's 40 years old. Started voice acting in 2004, also had a speech therapist for her stutter, kind of like Irwin's oh. actor, J. Michael Tatum, when he was young. He DMs for the hit show Critical Role. If you don't Ooh. know what that is, I don't know what to tell you. Notable roles in Naruto, he played Yamato. Yamato! Demon Slayer, he is Kaguya, the head of the Hashira. So oh. Like Fruits Basket, he is God. God. <laughs> yes, it's great. He, oh, okay, shit, he has he was Falco? Voice. Yeah, Falco nice. and Edge Runners. Oh. Hey, I don't know what that means. You chooms probably know what that Choom. means. Matthew Mercer, everybody. He's a uh, he's well goaded and well respected in the English dub community. Seems like it, yeah. yeah. And in the sub corner we have Hiroshi Kamiya. Here's the guy. Oh, Ooh, he, he looks like, like Levi. Levi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He, yeah, he, he literally does looks too. like Levi. That's a dope shirt, too. That is a great shirt. He is a 48-year-old voice actor and singer. Debuted in 1994 with his acting. Oh, Hosts a radio show called Dear Girl Stories with Daisuke Ono, who's the, also the voice actor for Erwin in Japanese. So I guess ah. they Levi and Erwin host a radio show in Japan. It's kind of cool. He's also played Trafalgar in One Piece. I don't know who the fuck that is. I don't know if you we know We haven't that is. met Trafalgar yet. He also played God oh, in Fruit Basket. Oh, the final. <laughs> Damn, wow. so we got God Obviously. versus God. God versus God. This is it. I do. He, he played the manager guy. Oh, yeah. He looks like Mickey. The, 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 and oh. Blue Lock. Hey, we don't know Blue Lock yet. Okay, here we go with scene one. <gasps>何をしてるのエラ。お前は間違ってない。やりたけやれ。俺にはわかる。こいつは本物の化け物だ。どんなに力で抑えようともこいつの意識を服従させることは選べ。自分を信じるか。俺やこいつら調査兵団組織を信じるかだ。自分の力を信じても信頼に足る仲間の選択を信じても結果は誰にもわからなかった。まあせいぜい悔いが残らない方を自分で選べ。We. This voice is so good. 
That was good. Yeah. Listen, we haven't even saw the second one, all right? <laughs> Come on. I First thought you were going to control your bias still be here. good. <laughs> still fucking amazing. No, Aaron! Stop! I wouldn't blame you. Do as your conscience dictates. But Aaron, listen. You are not inherently evil. Your ability to change doesn't make you a monster. That said, it could be the other way around. Whether you lose control or freely give it up. Maybe it's the same. The choice is yours. You can trust yourself, or you can trust the people willing to put their lives in the line for you. I don't know which way is better. I never have. Should I act on my own instincts, or put myself in the hands of my comrades and trust them? In the end, you choose what you choose. If afterwards your regrets are at a minimum, good for you. Dang, that's a that's a tough one. It's very different dialogue for yeah. both. Yeah, yeah, like because I was reading it the first time, I'm like I don't remember this. Yeah, I was like, am I like, yeah. what, did I space the dialogue out the first is one? pretty different. So this is a tough one for me. I I think they're, but like Levi was definitely one of my favorite performances when I watched the dub. I, I think that's one of the better voice actings. I think they're both good. I'm gonna give it to Hiroshi. Because I, I like how he delivered it more. Like, Matt Mercer delivered it in a way where he's like, yeah, choose for yourself. But, like, there's still a little bit of suggestion in his voice to be like, yo, trust us. But, like, Hiroshi delivered it in a very, very like, matter of fact, devoid of any emotion at all. Because he's doing the same calculation in his head at that time. He's also making his decision based on what Aaron might or might not do. So, I, I, think, I think Hiroshi's kind of devoid of emotions. It's almost like a traumatized soldier but that that's kind of like keeping it together i i, I don't know i, I, I kind of like that delivery better hiroshi is a great voice actor mm. um but matthew took this one so when i think of levi i think of an angsty teenager all right he you know he's a teen levi. and yeah, he's, he, an, he's an adult he's an adult but an angsty adult you know he's like emo-ish you know he's super skinny you know that type but he can fight don't get hold on hold on come what, levi are we talking about yeah, yeah but levi's skinny come on he's skinny yeah, he, yeah. He's, he's pretty skinny he's got a shop at hot topic vibes. yeah yeah he got hot topic vibes i don't know i think there's abs he's, there he's, he's no his the way he's drawn it looks like he got hot topic vibes. i guess i can see him at paxson so, <laughs> so with those types of vibes i feel like it leads towards um matthew because Le matthew Matthew's, his cadence is lower, but confident at the same time. Mm -hmm. And versus Matthew, um, not Matthew, Hiroshi, his cadence is very prominent, like strong and like deep. It really doesn't fit mm -hmm. Levi, who, he, who is as a character. I feel like he is, because like, again, Levi was still like, I know he's older, but he's still like young. And I feel like Matthew's voice fits Levi better. Again, also, I see him as a, Ancy person, like an emo person, not as like a bolstering like a, like person. Like a commander. Yeah. Yeah. So I definitely see, Matthew. that's why I took Matthew on They're this both one. really good. Like, yeah. Yeah, they're both really good. I, I can't decide. But the dialogue was very different. I think intent was very different for both of them. The first one, I kind of do agree with Mickey. Like, I, I felt like the first one was more so, you are a monster. Like, this is who you are. Um, and you will have to make a choice. It will be your choice. Just make the one that you least regret. But the, but he wasn't giving. He, but in the dub, I felt like he was saying like believe in yourself. Like, but it was more so like suggestive. I don't know. I, it's really hard. It's really hard to pick. It I was like weird because the, the dialogue in the sub, like he was saying like different. you're a monster, and yeah. Yeah. like I could tell, and it was kind of foreshadowing the stuff. He that is happens indeed later. a monster. Yeah, he but is in a the monster. dub. He but does kind of. He says like, "You're not a monster." It's not your fault. But then he does say like, are. "Maybe it's the other way around." He, he kind of suggests the same thing in the sub, but it, he goes about it completely different way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. very different intent. I feel like I, I can't tell. I, I do like the voice of Hiroshi, just better, just uh, the way it is. I don't think he's teen angsty teenager. So I would say one, if I'm giving them both a grade, it's A pluses. They're both really good. And that's oh, not right. even here to discuss. But I will say, and I know I came in here saying this, but for the first time ever in my life, I've been influenced by Pat. <gasps> oh, I do by think Pat. Levi's supposed to kind of come across as the guy who you can whoop his ass. When you first see Levi standing next to Erwin, my very first thought is, that dude's number fucking two. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, I do think that Matt is giving that kind of energy that like, he sounds confident enough, but he doesn't sound... Hiroshi sounds kind of scary. Mm. Hiroshi sounds like what we all know Levi to be, but yeah. like yeah. Matt Mercer sounds like what Levi looks like to me, right? Like, 
a dude who's kind of chill, kind of mm. laid back. And you're like, oh, you're a bit of a bitch. But then you see that he's like number two. You're confused by that. And then you see him fight or you see him kick Aaron's face in <laughs> and call him a dog and put his boot in his mouth. And you're like, oh, like you're fucked up. Like even when they do, when he's living in the underworld, he doesn't seem like a threat. Mm. He doesn't sound like a threat, but he yeah. is a threat. And I think that that is Levi. So you guys are both are really going by like how he looks compared to um his experience that could because like first time i saw levi i was immediately like he's that's badass like he but you seen a fucking anime huh yeah i guess so but i never thought when he was standing against Aaron, like Aaron, when he kicked his face in the court like i was like yep he is the one who would kick the shit out of him even if Aaron was just like but he's a tiny little dude yeah yeah but even i feel like even zeke underestimates him like he's supposed to be underestimated and then he stuffs you like, that's his thing. It sounds like you just kind of have a preference that he should sound like what he looks like. Whereas, Nubby, yeah. you're saying, like, oh, no, he should sound like who he is. Yeah, it's actually. his experience. So, like, like what, yeah. it's whether or not you want his voice to accompany what your, like, first impressions are or your voice to accompany, like, what he actually is. So yeah. That's the per- personality preference. But I think that's all going to be dead luck because, like, yeah. the, the Matt Mercer's performance was really good. It, it was definitely one of my favorites. Well, let's move on to scene number two. You led us well, fought hard. No one else could have gotten us this far. I'll make the choice for you. Give up on your dream and charge to your death. Lead those crying children straight to hell. I'll reach the Beast Titan and tear him apart. My name! I can't see! Did he take out my eyes? My legs! What's wrong? Not enjoying yourself so much anymore? Come on, let's have some fun! I made a promise to Commander Erfin that I would kill you no matter what it took. I promised! Oh, shit. Right, I'm trying to pay attention to the different yells and grunts because I definitely like the is. yell. He sounds <laughs> fucking crazy. He does. <laughs> he does. You fought hard. 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 やられたのか。さっきは随分と楽しそうだったな。もっと楽しんでくれよ。俺はあいつに誓ったんだ。必ずお前を殺すと。Mm. All right, can I go first? Uh, yeah, go for All it. Right, so ahead. this one, the, the last one was a little bit tougher. This one's easy to judge. Hands down, Dub. Here's the reason why. So when he told for, you, for all of it, no, for I'm going to tell you the beginning portion okay. definitely because when he's talking to Irving, he's like, "I need you to lead this man to hell." He's letting him know. In the sub one, there was no urgency behind it. There's like no. Uh, like hey but in the dub you felt hey you're like there was more emotion behind it and then the i think that the yelling and the dub was a lot better than the yelling in the sub um and yeah hands down was yeah dub was better I, for me the beginning when he's talking to erwin erwin mm-hmm. and then at the end when he's like i made a promise i think those two are dead even for me but the middle, the the beast battle, that's Hiroshi all day, dude. <laughs> Hiroshi all day. But like, I for for the beginning, the Ervin, I think they both did a great job of like staying firm to like how Levi is, but showing vulnerability in their voice. Like both of their voices are wavering. So I I, I enjoyed that. And then yeah, I mean I th- I think they brought really good. It, both of them killed it on the, on the beginning and the end, but the middle is Hiroshi all day. <laughs> Interesting. I like. I think both of them were great, but I am kind of opposite. The beginning and the end, I will say Hiroshi, and because I felt like there were a lot of anger and emotion in the sub, and his dialogue to Erwin was shorter than what was in the dub. 
is much longer and the uh, in the sub it's more like okay like take the charge take them to hell and so like take these children blah 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 i think there's more in the dub but fighting scene i thought matthew did a great job i loved his yells and grunts compared to hiroshi yeah the dialogue he, in the dub he says send the crying children to hell and yeah. in the sub he says recruits to hell yeah. crying children for me i'm gonna give that line over to recruits. matt mercer for sure yeah over recruits because i think that it shows that levi's like he's being super blunt about it like I said, like take these recruits to their deaths. It's like no, take these crying children to hell. Like you, like it's all fucked. Like he's saying it as in like he's ripping the bandaid off. It feels like that. But also, if I would give it to the sub or uh, the subtitles over anywhere, it's gonna be at the very end. I never liked the way that Matt Mercer pronounced everyone because mm. I think it's It'd it's a name that's hard to pronounce because it's like a German name, and then I don't know you're hearing it from like an English speaking dude and then also a Japanese speaking dude. So it, it always sounds weird in general. But yeah. I didn't like the way he said it, but. I'm going to give it to him because the yells, maybe it's for me. I think, you know, I put myself in anyone's shoes and if I'm going to yell like I'm cutting off something's neck, I'm going to be fucking crazy. I'm going to sound like a, ah, you know what I mean? And I feel like, I feel like in anime, it's always like, ah, like it's like, it sounds like someone trying to sound tough and not like I'm fucking crazy and I'm chopping off a head. Yeah. Plus, that is some of the best animation of all time. Do you really want to be reading while that's happening? Do you really want to be <laughs> reading while some of the best absolute S tier animation is happening? I'm being dead ass. You have to be, oh, I have to go back and watch it twice. Guess what? I'm getting what, it all no, at the you, same time. You can see the whole screen. You can you, watch the if whole If you are screen. reading, you are not watching, watching it all. And that shit is 24 frames a second of pure, absolute, unadulterated gold. That is Give like me what, every single second. That's yeah. one of the sickest sequences. Yeah. yeah. If you, I even re- the like, like, whenever I rewatch oh. it, I will rewatch it in dub. Uh, just because like then at that that point not only understanding it and it's watching it too but it is way easier to understand and dub that's why i wanted to include an action sequence for sure because yeah. of that like uh you know it's hard to read and watch at the same time so. yeah. Yeah. yeah it's happening so fast yeah there was a I, I think i'm not sure well there's small differences when he's like slicing the fuck out of his back before he yanks him out in the english dub it's just one long prolonged scream he's like what are you talking about chris with uh, Levi and then also Beast, and then in the sub, it was it's kind of like cutting back and forth, with like ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, like a. It, they decided to just like mix the audio differently. Yeah. Interesting. Weird little small. Details. In sub, it just felt like Levi was very short, and then it was all Beast Titan. Mm. Um, but yeah, dub it was longer. Well, if you guys louder. like judging grunts and screams, wait till we get a load of this Ooh. next one. Oh, uh, okay. This one is taken from the OVA. In case you forgot, let me just give you some context. I mean, I have uh, is this the food episode? <laughs> <laughs> like you mentioned he's from the gutter I believe I lived in the underground with his two buddies and they joined the scouts him and his two friends and in their like first encounter with titans his two friends get obliterated and so this is like Levi going psycho after that um, encounter so it's kind of hard to remember because you probably don't rewatch the OVAs but I feel like this is a good show of uh, emotion for the character that we don't usually see so here we go I haven't seen this. I need to go back and watch it. That was so sad. With oh, that yeah. Soundtrack. <laughs> Sorry, it was a good build up to this part. Yeah. Oh, I bet. But that god damn. I think it's the only so time so Levi cries. <laughs> This, this, is, this is a hard one. This time. I, okay, yeah, this is, I like the first one better. Yes. Yes. We got the sub recruit. <laughs> we did not have a sub recruit. We got sub recruit. <laughs> the first screaming sounded actual die hardy. 
fucking like terrified at like just losing your shit doesn't care about his own life the second one sounds a little more composed yeah and i think it in this situation the first one fits way better that's all i agree and i think considering i'm assuming levi here is younger so it sounded younger what the sub with hiroshi compared to matthew that's voice that we just heard with why he was going against beast titan um just i mean the beast titan i love the matthews grunts but this one yeah hiroshi yeah. I definitely agree. I think the sub in the beginning was really good and this like better. The last the went like when Le- Levi was like crying or whimpering, I think the dub was a little bit better, mm-hmm. but everything else before that, the sub was a lot better. The dub mm-hmm. crying was more prolonged. Yeah. He cried more and the sub uh, it was just a couple sniffles and the dub he was crying yeah. longer. Okay. It was pretty even for me. I thought oh, I, th- I, th- I thought they both like exerted them pretty pretty well. I'll, my bias will give it to the sub slightly, <laughs> but I mean they both I'm took biased. it there. You know, I think that I think they both did what this scene required. As I edit this together, I kind of been noticing now Hiroshi. It was frantic screams the whole way through, and I feel like Matthew kind of got tired. built it up. Again, got tired, no, but he it, it started lower and like rose up to like the explosion, whereas Hiroshi was the whole time. Frenetic, you can but. you can feel the rage in Hiroshi's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas Matt Mercer, like you can feel that rage, but sometimes it just feels like he's like physically exerting himself. I thought for but, Matt, I like not getting tired as in like wasn't able to do it. I thought he was doing like cut 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 fuck like I'm getting exerted like that's that last big ah like pushed her and then just like when he's crying it feels like he's like all the way like he's drained the tank like completely you know what i mean that was probably the most abstract one because it was no dialogue it was just yelling and crying here's the final levi ackerman scene right now the sub is slightly edging out the dub and we got some bias we'll take it off on this couch (laughs) hey you you picked us up it's team sports all right let's go shit zeke's spinal fluid was in the wine since when are they able to move like this is that because of zeke too Varys, are you still somewhere in there, you guys? Damn it! What the hell are you made of? Where did all your cute little soldier friends go? Don't tell me you killed them all! A branch? You look desperate, hairball. All you had to do was read your damn book. What gave you the idea that you could escape from me? You really thought I'd hesitate to kill my comrades once you turned them. Then you have no idea how many friends I've had to kill. (laughs) Ah, hey, Beardy. Amazing. You've gotten uglier somehow. You even smell worse. Shitbag. Well, don't worry. I'm not gonna kill you. Not yet. Well, that's gonna be hard to follow up. <laughs> that was God, Levi. That's insane. The dialogue's a little different in this one. また帰ろう。お前の可愛い部下たちはどうした？まさかこの下のか。可哀想に。え、と。必死だな。逃げづらいやろ。お前はおとなしく投射する以外なかったのに。なんで勘違いしちまったんだ。俺から逃げられるって
compared to comrades. Um, yeah, comrades I think, we've had to kill. Yeah, I think that kind of is going same with the crying children compared to recruits. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm very torn. I am kind of leaning toward the dub side on this one just because of dialogue, but... Um, I don't know, but I'm still torn. <laughs> oh, we got one. No. <laughs> no, it's just difficult. Like I, I, I don't know. I like the also the line in the sub when he says like you piece of shit, you like yeah. smell dirty. I didn't like the dub when he was like, oh, you even smell bad. It's like, oh, okay, that's shit okay. bag. No, he calls shit, it a shit, shit bag. bag. Shit bag. Yeah. It, it also added in a dub shit like bag. you also you smell pretty bad as well. Something like that in the. In I thought the you said dub. you smell like uh, a shit bag. No, no, Something he like says, that, you sm- in uh, Japanese, he says you smell like shit. In English, I think he says, you even smell worse, shit bag. The voice processing on the sub is better, the voice processing, because they do something on the, uh, on the subtitle. Sub yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed the it. The echo. The echo makes Levi sound like he can be anywhere in the woods, which is what the Beast Titan is thinking is happening. Mm-hmm. And so I'm going to, the, whoever edits the sound, Japanese, you're gonna get a fucking ooh, little extra credit marks. I see that you knew the Beast Titans. Yeah. Really good job there. I wish I'd have done that for the uh, English voice actor. Maybe that's what I was noticing because, like, I yeah, I think I'm gonna give it to the sub on this one. I just I felt a little bit more sense of urgency with Hiroshi. Plus, I think like his like when he was climbing up the tree, but still making observations about what was going on. I felt like he paid more attention to like where he was in the space of the scene. Like I could still feel him like moving around like his voice acting like he sounds account- mobile yeah mm-hmm. like like yeah. it's it i can feel him moving around Interesting. and it, it i and i didn't quite get that with matt mercer like the emotion was there yeah. but it was more like he was just kind of reciting in the, the sub line. he he grunts while saying the line in the dub he says the line normally and then just like a Ugh, yeah move so i i, I get even. yeah and I, I i did hear that too um when he's coming up, there's only one line for me that, because I didn't pick sub or dub yet, but there's one line in the uh, subtitles I do think he does better when he's like, fuck, just because, because of Zeke too, he doesn't say fuck before, but it sounds like he's saying that he, mm. he does sound more urgent. Other Levi sounds a little more composed, like he's, I feel like he like he knows, like he knows what he's about to have to do. And this is, I do think this is biased because I know what's going to happen as well. It feels like when English actor, when Matt Mercer Levi says, oh, did Zeke do this too? That like, he's getting madder because he knows that like, he knows what's about to happen. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because in his head, he's like, there's only one way out of this situation. I'm about to kill all my friends. And I think that uh, Japanese Levi has a little more compassion, but I keep always thinking Levi is from the gutter. He's not supposed to sound like a mafioso, but he is a little bit like, oh, like kind of, damn, I'm going to have to kill all these guys. And like, that's kind of Levi. In my head, like, I don't know. It's interesting that you keep saying that the je- the sub has a more for compassion because I feel like the dub version of Levi has more compassion than the sub does yeah. because the sub one has stayed up like said comrades instead of calling them friends said recruits instead of calling them what? crying children. Where do you put your what? <laughs> I feel like if I'm like, bro, those are my comrades. Those are my comrades. Yeah. Or if, if I say those are my friends, that is a deeper level. Yeah, that's a deeper level of passion. So that is more in the dub side because you're saying the sub has more compassion. No, I think well, I, in my yeah that the the subtitles, the Japanese version for me, it sounds like he's actually concerned mm-hmm. when he's like, oh shit, like like it sounds like he's like I like he knows what he's about to have to do, and there's like concern in his voice with it. While English uh, level Levi sounds like. I'm gonna have to kill my friends. Do you know how many friends I had to kill to get here? Like mm. he's saying it to like twist the knife into the other person he's talking to. When he's like, take those crying children to, to hell, he's not being like, oh, you see it, that. they're crying children to me. And yeah, like, you're gonna I take know. them to hell. He's like, um, take those fucking crying babies to hell. Like he's I like, for, he's telling for that to, to Irwin to be like, it's gonna suck and I'm just gonna twist the knife so you know it's gonna already hurt. So you're ready for just it. And go. with Zeke, he's like, not, do you know how many of my comrades? He's like, yeah, my friends I've already had to kill. Like, that's, yeah. I feel like that hits a little harder. That's some, like, fair enough. Some I can ugly see that, shit yeah. to have I, to and, say. I will say that line is much better in the dub version. Just the way he gave it. It's like, okay, yeah. It's like, uh, you really think this is what's going to stop me? I do think because I've heard Levi in Japanese way more often now, though, because I'm probably the only person who heard him English first and then Japanese, mm. that I am, like, I, this sounds more, I'm so much more used to hearing yeah. Levi sound in Japanese now. Mm. Because I don't want to watch it in English anymore. Pat. Interesting. Um, you know, a lot of people are gonna call me biased here, but I'm gonna have to pick the dub on this one. Um, just because the the dialogue. I like the dialogue you just said friends over comrades. It has more of um weight to it. You than, think it's cultural or you think it's 
Well, you think for Japanese people, comrades it hits a little harder than fringe does? I, I don't. What does comrades just means? Like your fucking feels more military. Ass. Yeah, it's more military. Whereas friends, but I mean, like in I mean, Russia, like, they call each other like comrade. It's like friend thing. I'm yeah. just saying, like it might be cultural but, yeah. shit too. And but okay. I think like in Naruto, uh, your fellow comrade shinobi, you will feel much more responsible and accountable for like yeah like my friends but like they chose me but comrades like i had responsibility of taking care of them especially in this in this scene friends means a lot has more weight than Mm -hmm. comrades because you've seen all your friends like all the people that you have to kill and these are people that you already went like are battling with or whatever grew up with so i feel like friends seems better in this scene than comrades Mm -hmm. um and when he said that line versus the um hiroshi 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 um, Matthew had more, like I said, co- like I would say more compassion and more emotion behind it. Like I felt like you felt like he's, he felt bad, but he had, this is like the only way to get out of it mm. versus Hiroshi. was like, Hey, I'm just going to have to do this. Like there was no feeling behind it. It's like, Hey, this is it. And this, I got to do. Um, and then the end line, I like, I like comedy and I like cussing a little bit. So I, I prefer shit bag and shit like that versus he told him he smelled like shit in piece Japanese. Shit. You just don't know Japanese. So that's, that's probably, like that's, that's probably. He, he called him a piece of shit in uh, Japanese, but like shit bag is still more comedic. Yeah. Shit bag is like a burn, but like, also you don't know the language. So yeah. You can hear the word shit in Japanese a hundred times. So as, yeah. as a English speaker though, like, you like hearing your cuss words, yeah. Because like you yeah. know that's forbidden word. Whereas in Japanese, they could say whatever cuss yeah, word. Yeah, you don't know. It won't ever sound like yeah. forbidden. We don't. Yeah. Yeah. We don't, we'll never really know what they're saying. For this scene in particular, sub Mickey, sub. Dub yeah. Pat, sub Navi, Chris. What, what was yours? I thought. You, I thought. Or no, you were, Navi thought was more dub. Yeah, right? I you, were dub. Mm. you know you were dub. It's like so you difficult. Like that is just that line um, compared to like everything else. I didn't pick up the audio part because I'm not an audio yeah, person. I so I guess I will give that the part. Dub, but if you hear it back again, yeah. Now that I know, I think that would be much better. But like while watching first one, I guess I will give to the dub for this one. Uh, I'm gonna give it to the dub. <sighs> you know what that means, guys? We have a dead tie because the first two were even. Scene three was edged out in the sub. This final scene was edged out for the dub. So. I guess the normies haven't decided. I guess yeah. the normies have decided yeah, I, that I, I, Matt Mercer and Hiroshi, uh, sorry, Hiroshi Kamiya are exactly on the equal plank. Also, I, I yeah, gave I it think, to the sound yeah, mixer. I think they killed sound it. Mixer. Not the voice actor. Yeah, sound mixer. Sound he was mixer. on that piece of shit that day. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think so, they both killed it. Please comment below what scenes I should have included. Yell at me all you want on what scenes should have been included. Call him. Can't believe and, they uh, picked the worst scenes. If you truly, <laughs> really want another attack on Titan 1, we might do one more, but to me, we've kind of heard like people want like All Might and Deku. Controversial. Dude. Want Zeke. Naruto. All Might. Zeke. All Might. Would hearing be a good both one. Zeke's, I think it's like I was like, because well, my head was like, man, Zeke sound like a fucking bitch. I, I, and then hearing Zeke in Japanese was like, oh no, he do sound like a bitch. Like, <laughs> I, good job. <laughs> I do agree with you. Like when I saw this, I was like, I was expecting Zeke to have like a deep, you know confident voice and stern but like you said in dub he just sounds like a little bitch but then the when he did when he turns into a monkey he does sound different then he sounds like what he sounds I, like I do like song. Zeke's dub dialogue here it's like were you kidding me what are you made out of <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Hunter Hunter would have some really good moments ooh that'd Hunter Hunter ooh that'd be uh, Gon's uh, you know with, yeah. with P2 with P2 and then yeah. the Netero's so start thinking of other other shows guys like Naruto also Sasuke Naruto yeah. Kakashi yeah. look well why don't you guys go ahead? Let me get the reins. Let me be the surge one day because we're gonna do we're gonna do Star Wars Visions. Okay. We can do Star Wars yeah. Visions. Honestly, yeah. We're Not made in Japan. Well, made by Japanese people about American made shit, and then we got English. No. And yeah. then we got all sorts of other because that should one has do like other ten languages. languages we should do other So Disney languages. Plus also has a good. They boast a good amount of language choices. I did take your uh, uh, suggestion, Chris. Chris suggested that I add more languages on here. Still trying to figure out how to do that with the format. With this format, it's good to go head to head, but for now, I did add some a bonus scene. Interesting. Uh, Some different languages, just a little treat for you guys just one scene i didn't scene. Really know that did other one languages. scene and other i mean in as many other... different languages as i could find i tried to find the hindi dub i probably put virus on my computer are you there somewhere because you... <laughs> there were some hindi dub scenes i'm like but i want this scene in hindi dub uh, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how i can't goes. believe there is even a hindi dub. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm surprised. I, I would say good I, i'll get a virus personally on my <laughs> yeah, human body that's worth a that. virus. so here's a little treat for you guys Let's do it. just just for funsies right Kenny killed it too. It's pretty damn good. It's so good. That. 
Nah. 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 Nah.